Hello audience, a very warm welcome to all of you and thank you for joining us today. We are super excited to have you with us as we dive into the platform that's transforming the way businesses communicate. So today's session is going to be a live walkthrough of Crisp Call Interface, designed to give you all a closer look how the platform and tech-driven solution simplifies the business communication. With me, I have Asma, the channel sales lead with us. So Asma, it would be great if you can quickly introduce yourself. Uh, hi everyone, I am Asma, a sales lead at Crips Call, and today I'll be giving you a walkthrough of Crips Call, which will make you understand Crips Call better. So our today's agenda is going to be the Crips Call dashboard, our advanced filters of number purchase, team collaboration, multi-level IVR settings, live call coaching, and key features. So let's get started with how the Crips Call interface would go. Okay, hello everyone. So this is exactly how our Crips Call interface looks like. So if you are using it in your web application, then this is exactly how it works. And apart from web application, we do provide mobile app as well. So we have mobile app for both Android and iOS, which you can download from the App Store or the Play Store as per your preferences. So let's just start uh, with the basic features. Just start with like purchasing a number. So to purchase a number, you can simply come to the setting work number section right here and just click on add new number, select your desired country. And for now, I will just be selecting a US as my preferred country. And here you can just see all of the numbers that are available with Crips Call. And you can simply click on the add to cart button, just name your number. Click on add to cart, the number will go to cart and then you can simply click on confirm purchase and then the number will be yours. Okay, so in the same way, you can just purchase as much as number you want and you will find all of your numbers in the web number section, my number section right here. And each of the number will have separate number setting. So now I will just click on one of our one of the purchase number and I will just show you how everything is done. So once we click on our number, you will go inside the number setting. So from here, you can just customize everything. So here you can just see we have like auto record call, auto voicemail transcription, international calls and messages, email notification. So we can simply enable or disable it as per our preferences. And not only that, we can also change our number name. So here earlier I have set like US number at the time of purchasing. Now I can also change it to like Crips call or Asma or any name that I would like to have. Okay, so in this way, I can simply change it. And down here, you can just see the caller ID. So if you make a call from the number that we have purchased, then obviously our customer will see this number as our caller ID. But just in case, if you do not want to display the number that you have purchased, then you can also change it from our caller ID feature as well. So Asma, can we put any number over here for the caller ID? Uh, no, so unfortunately, you cannot just randomly put any number. The number that you will be displaying your caller ID must be an active and verified number because there is a process that need to be followed via OTP verification. So, so first, you need to click on add external number. You can simply enter the number that you want to display as a caller ID. Let's say I will put the UK number, even though it's my I have purchased the US number. I'll put the UK number to display as a caller ID and as it's a verified number. So once I click on verified number, it will show an OTP and I will receive a call in my UK number. Okay, And once I receive that call, I need to enter the same exact OTP that I'm seeing in my screen. So then only we can choose that number to display as a caller ID. Um, so that's why it must be a verified and active number. So once scroll down, you can also share the share access section. So from this section, you will be sharing your access of a number with the other member. But first, obviously, you have to add a member in your workspace. So for that, you can simply come to the member setting right here. Just click on add new member, enter their email address, assign them as admin or member. So if you assign them as an admin, then they will have access to all the features that we have, like similar to the owner access. And if you assign them as a member, then they will have a limited access. And once you acknowledge the price, you can send the invitation. And after they accept the invitation, they will list it down here as a member. And then you can simply come to your number setting and just share the access of your number with your member. So from here, you can just click on add user and all of the user list will be dropped down here like this. And you can just simply choose to whom you want to share the access of that specific number. And you can also share the access of a single number with all the members that you have in your workspace or you can just purchase an individual number for an individual member. Okay. 
So Ashma, uh, regarding the calls, uh, what mm -hmm. all advanced incoming call strategies we have for our uh, incoming calls? Okay, so for that, you can simply come to uh, like incoming call strategy section right here under the number setting. And we have like multiple incoming call strategies. So as I mentioned earlier, we do have like mobile app as well. So you can operate from the web application or the mobile app itself. And if the call is being on answer, you can set it to dismiss or voicemail as well. Okay. And not only that, we do provide the call forwarding option. So let's say if you are traveling somewhere where you are not connected to the Internet, that in that case, you can simply put your physical number. Then if somebody calls you in a virtual number, then you'll be directly getting a call in your physical number. So in that way, your client will not get disturbed or you'll not get interrupted in your work as well. You can simply put your number and even if you put in the call forwarding setting and you are unable to receive a call, then you can also set it to the voicemail as well and it will directly go to the voicemail. You can also do that. And apart from the call forwarding, we also provide the SMS forwarding as well. So you can simply put the, your number and all of your SMS will be forwarded to that specific number. And along with that, under the incoming call strategy, we also have an IVR. So it's kind of a virtual receptionist, like press one to talk to like certain people or certain department. And we do have like multiple uh, level IVR. So you can also customize it to the different department and then forward it to the people or just directly to the people. As for your company workflow, you can also customize it. So is it easier for us to configure the keys and everything for IVR? Ah, yes, yeah, it's quite easy. So uh, you can simply select the text to speech and write your own custom recording. Uh, or if you like to have it in your own voice, and you can also select the custom recording and upload your MP3 file as well. So for now, I will just select a text to speech and write a simple message just for a reference. So in this way, you can also write a message and you can also select a voice as well. You can select the Annet for a female voice and robot for a male voice. And currently we only have a Sydney Australian accent. And once you customize the message, you can also listen like how it sounds. And if you want to change it, then you can also change it as well. And from here, you can configure all of the options. So as I mentioned, we have multi-level IVR. So first you can just set it like select press one and then forward it to the voicemail. Then you can simply customize it like hello, welcome to the sales team sales team and then like press one to talk to like ashma or the venka so in this way you can just customize one level and then you can simply choose another option like press let's say press seven and forward it to asma so in this way you can configure all of the names and everything and if a call is being on on answer you can set it to vo dismiss or voicemail for the ivr setting as well okay that that was something great asthma so and uh, yeah, so not only IVR, in the incoming call strategies, we have like SIP text phone integrations as well. So if you prefer a uh, text phone over any like web application or the mobile app, then you can also integrate Crips call with the SIP text phone. Then they say you can simply receive or make a call from the text phone itself. You don't have to open to the Crips call web application, neither the mobile app. And down here, we, we do provide that auto reply strategy as well. So from this feature, you can simply put any kind of message. So let's say if you are about to join a meeting and that's a quite long for an hour or two, then you can simply put any kind of customized messages. And if somebody calls you and obviously you will not be able to pick up a call that at that time, the SMS will be automatically sent to the caller mentioning that you're busy and all you will call back them later. So they will be notified as well. And down here we have like greeting and recording section. So from here you can customize all of your greetings and recording from welcome, voicemail, hold and transfer. Similar to the IVR, we have text to speech. You can simply write your custom recording. You can also upload your custom recording as well. And down here you can just see the denser zone and from this section you will be deleting your number. So please make sure because once we delete the number, we will not be able to provide you the same exact number. So please do make sure like 100% that you want to delete the number before deleting the number. 
So these are all the number settings that we provide. So Devinka, do you want to know about any of the features, any information, or you are confused about any of the number settings? No, actually, they, these were some good insights. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to know how we can, uh, as a business, how we can monitor the team performances. Okay, yeah. so in that case, you can simply come to our dashboard as well. And here you can just see all of our call analytics, like all the calls um, that has been made in a specific day or specific week as well. Asma, I see something over mm -hmm. here on coaching. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain me that mm -hmm. thing? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. So um, basically, this is our call coaching feature. So if th there is any live call going on, then it will display right here, like who is calling home. So you can just see that Suspita is making call to Serena and the duration as well. And if you click on this course, then you will get like three more features as well. So first it will show like just listen. So if you click on the just listen, then you can simply listen to the conversation that are happening between these two your team members and the customer as well. And we do have a whisper as well as the bars and features. So once you click on the whisper, then I can simply communicate with my team members. So I, I can simply guide her or him that if they are seeing any kind of confusion, then I can simply like suggest them what to say and what not to say. And only my team member will hear me, not the customer. And if I directly want to communicate with my customer, then I can simply click on the bars and option right here. So in this way, I can directly communicate with the customer, my team member and me. So basically three of us can communicate in a single call without like interrupting or without just forwarding or transferring the call as well. And in this way, we can also monitor our like team members as well. And here you can also find out all of the missed calls as well. So if there's any missed call within the 24 hours, then we can also see the list in the missed call section right here. So down here, we can also see all of the total call inbound, outbound and missed call of that specific date as well. And if you have like multiple number in your workspace, then you can also choose the number. So currently, we do not use this workspace for our calling purposes. So I don't have any data to show you. But yeah, so in your workspace, if you'll be making any calls and obviously you will see all of your data of that specific day right here. And similarly, once you scroll down, you can also see the like reports distributed in an hourly basis as well. Similarly, you can select the numbers if you have multiple numbers and select the date trains as well. And you will see all of the activities of that specific week. And you can just see the most busy hour, most busy day and least busy day of that week as well. So from this, you can simply monitor all of your like members, team members, and you can also guide them. And apart from this, so obviously after getting a numbers and setting up all of the process, we need to make a call and you can just see the dialer right here. So once you click here, dialer will pop up. We can simply enter the number and initiate the call. And if you have like multiple number, then you can also choose the number from which you want to make the call from. So Ashma, when I receive a call or any SMS or I have to see the records, where do I find them in the interface? Okay, so for that, we do have a unified call box. So here you can just see I have like multiple numbers. So in the same way, if you have multiple number, then you'll have separate call box for each of the number. And once you click on the number, you will see all of its stock details. And if you receive any kind of SMSs or calls or anything, and even if a missed call, obviously you will be notified right here like this. You can just see I have like three on read notification. So in the same way, you will just find that. And once you click on the number, you will go inside its log and you can just see. You can also see all of your incoming call, outgoing call. And if you have enabled the recording, then also you can listen to the recording. And we do provide the transcript for all of our recorded call as well, which you can simply download. Okay. And not only the transcript, you can also download the recording as well. And apart from the recording, if somebody drops your voicemail, then also you can find that voicemail in the call box section. And you can also listen to the recording, sorry, voicemail, as well as download the transcript for the voicemails as well. Okay, so if you like to send an SMS to a newer contact, then here you can just see the new message icon right here. Just click on this icon. You can simply enter the number and just compose uh, SMSs. Hi, like test SMS and you can send it and the SMS will be delivered to that specific context as well. So you can also see that the SMS is sending as well. Okay, so in this way, you can simply send the SMS. Uh, okay, so Ashma, uh, how do I find that the number uh, that SMS have been sent or not? 
Uh, okay, so in that case, uh, I have shared the SMS to one of our number itself. So I will be sharing this number to myself. So as I am the admin, admin of this workspace, I can also share it and just remove the access as well. And I'll also show it how it's done. So for that, you can ask, come to the setting VoIP number section where we'll find all of the numbers that are available with us. And I have shared the SMS to my, one of my candidate numbers. So this is the number where I have sent the SMS. So once we click on the number, we'll go inside the number setting and then I will share the access of this number to myself first so in this way we can simply share the access and i will find that log details right there and here is the notification that i have mentioned earlier and once i click on the number i'll go inside it and here you can just see the sms that i have sent so in this way we can just see all of the log details and get the notification as well so asma i see there has been two new features that has been introduced to the brisk call interface can you please walk us through them as well Oh yeah, sure. So here you can just see we have like two newly launched feature. One is power dialer and another is bulk SMS. So power dialer is basically an automate dialer where we just upload a CSV file. So first we need to create a campaign. So from this section, we can simply create a campaign, just upload a CSV file with the list of the numbers that we want to make the calls to. And basically the power dialers uh, are useful for a cold calling. So if you will be making a lot of cold calling, then this feature would be handy for you. So you can simply upload a CSV file with the list of the numbers. The campaign will be created. And after you create the campaign, you can just see the list in the campaign section right here and you will also find a start sec a start option and once you click on the start button the dialer will pop up it will just automatically dial all of the numbers with the pause time of 10 seconds and yes yeah, so in this way you can just uh, complete all of your calls in a less than or uh, like a one hour if there's like more than a thousand or two thousand contacts as well and after completion of the campaign you can also see the analytics as well so once you click on the view analytics you can see all the lists like all the numbers that you have dialed, the complete date in queue everything and if you have enabled the recording, then also you can find that recording and download the recording as well. And similarly, we have the bulk SMS. So bulk SMS is a feature where we send the SMS in bulk. Similar to Power Dialer, we create the campaign, upload the contact and we send the SMSs. And in the bulk SMS also, we can just see the analytics right here. Is that how to like how many numbers you have sent SMS, like if it is in a deliver state or like fill in everything can be seen from the analytics section as well. So uh, Asma, I would like to know all the calls and uh, SMS that I'm with, I've been sending. How can I integrate those things to my Zoho CRM or any other business tool that I'm currently using? All the data that is there on my CRISPR interface, can I get integrated with any of the business tools? Oh, yes. So Crips Call does provide integrations with the different CRMs, the different marketing tools as well, which you can find it in our Crips Call website as well as in the Crips Call workspace. So for that, you can come to the setting integration section right here and you will see all of the CRMs or other marketing market tools, automation tools that can be integrated with the Crips Call. And as you mentioned, you want to integrate it with the Zoho CRM and Crips Call does integrate it with Zoho. So you can simply type the Zoho CRM and you can see the option right here. And yeah, so you can click on the connect and follow the steps and you will be integrated with the Zoho CRM. And once you integrate with the Zoho CRM, all of your contacts, everything will be synced as well. And you can also directly make a call from the CRM itself using a Crips call number and all of your call logs, recording, everything will be synced. So in this way, you don't have to like go like back and forth the Crips call and your CRM. You can simply maintain all of your data, your communication, everything from the CRM itself. So thank you so much, Ashma, for your great insights. And it was a great walkthrough. We learned about Chris Paul and the interface. I wish we could have covered more parts to it, but as we have time constraint, we are limited to these uh, features only, but we will come up with the next session and we will answer. We will try to answer all your questions and queries. So if you have anything, any suggestions for our upcoming sessions, you may text down to them in our comments and that would be it from our part. Thank you so much, guys. So if you want to get connected with the Chris Paul, you, can, you may mention the support in comment section and you can reach out to us and get uh, our system for your business purposes. Thank you so much.